Welcome to Solver Fee. Hello and welcome to this video solution of Numerid. Here we are given that two parallel wires are 5 cm apart, right? So here we have got two parallel wires that are 5 cm apart. And they carry, uh, carry currents in the opposite direction, right? If say the top wire is carrying to the uh, right, then it carries the current to the left by the lower wire, right? So the top wire, it, as per this diagram, it carries a current of 12 amperes and the below wire at a current of 24 amperes, right? Uh, now you have to find the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field at the point P due to two uh, 1.5 millimeter segments and at a distance of uh, 8 centimeters from P, right? So here we have the point P and uh, this is a segment let's say we consider these two segments and you have to kind of calculate the magnetic field at the point p right so what you can do is i can i'm drawing two lines just to show the direction of p right now if you see here uh, as the currents are moving in the opposite direction right the net magnetic field will add up right now what you can do is you can simply apply uh, bias Savard's law db that is equal to uh, mu naught over 4 pi times uh, ideal times the current element right ideal over uh, here we have got r square right and obviously there will be this r vector Right. Now you have to calculate this for the both this way. So dB will be equal to dB1 plus dB2, right? And sorry, this is uh, ideal cross R, right? Uh, let me write like this. It will be helpful for you. Right, so here you have to do a cross product, right? Or maybe what I can do is I can take mu naught by 4 pi common, right? And let's say r square will can also be taken common because they are at same distance of 8 uh, centimeters, right? So this r you can also take common. Uh, and here we will be having I times of DL uh, R, R cap is a unit vector right and what you can do is you can take sine theta because cross product means sine theta right so you can actually neglect this, this is 1 anyways right so let's see uh, so this is I1 plus the same okay so here you can take I2 DL again sin theta because this values are same right so mu naught dl sin theta you can take common over 4 pi r square and here we will be having i1 plus i2 right now we simply plug in the values mu naught by 4 pi is 10 to the power of negative 7 dl is a small differential length which is 1.5 millimeters times of 10 to the power of minus 3 times sin theta right sin theta if you see here if you consider theta so if this is theta right then it's perpendicular by hypotenuse right this perpendicular is 5 by 2 centimeters because this length is 5 centimeters right so you can write by 5 by 2 times 8 this is sin theta over uh, 4 pi r is 8 centimeters which is 0. 0 0.08 meter squared and here you have to just take the sum of 12 plus 24 right both these currents tesla now if you just evaluate this then you will be having 2.63 times of 10 to the power of uh, minus 7 tesla is the value of the magnetic field you will be having right i hope this is clear to you and a very good rest of the day thank you